Welcome all to Chasing Tents. My name is Abby. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. In this short and sweet video, and yes, you heard it right, short and sweet because all my videos are so long, I'll be talking to Dean Ellison. Now, after a track day at Snetterton in 2021, I got an opportunity to speak to Dean, and Dean is a fantastic coach, a BSB rider. He is an amazing, amazing guy. Now, you've got you to gotta remember, guys, not all super fast riders can be great coaches. To be a great teacher, a guru, a coach, you really need to know things, how to communicate with your student and also how to portray different things or how to paint a picture uh, to, your, um, to your student in the best possible manner, the easiest way, the best absorbent way. So here is the interview with Dean Ellison. Hope you like it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because it was short and sweet and uh, I hope you gained something out of it. How does your coaching work and what do you provide to people like myself? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, my coaching is one-to-one is -one normally. I don't mind doing the odd group booking if there's a couple of mates that are wanting to share a day. But ideally, one-to-one, -one, all the sessions, which is on a no-limits day, normally seven times 20-minute sessions. And uh, I work with the individual to their needs, really. So I'll be looking at uh, what they do in the first session. So we'll go out, we'll do the sighting laps, and then we'll just... Uh, let them run free for two or three laps and even though it's the first session I'll still get enough information from body position, picking up the throttle, how they're braking, where they're braking, uh, where their eyes are looking, how they're reading the track, um, what, you know, what states the bike in, is it in the right gear. I, I don't really go into suspension settings or bike setup uh, unless something's obvious. And then from that information I get in the first one, we'll go through the video footage and then just break down the day. So I'll be looking at all those key areas and fix the big points first and then whittle it down and then throughout the day, right to the end, we'll have hopefully fixed most of the problems and uh, the rider will feel more confident. So yeah, it's, um, it's not your standard, get your bum off the seat more, um, you know, tuck your feet in. We'll be looking at you know, the so do you put cameras on the uh, not on the customer's bike on the just customer's on my bike, bike. yeah bike. yeah I've, over the years i've tried front facing and rear facing cameras but i just need to see what the customer's doing they just need to see it for themselves afterwards and, and that's kind okay. of enough uh, i do have a 360 camera with the in intention of maybe putting it on the bike somewhere maybe in the stem so that we can uh, I can maybe highlight that they're not getting the body position off right, they're not getting under the bubble down the straights, you know, some of the basic stuff, but uh, I've never actually used it, so. Um, so yeah, just, just front facing for my bike and then that's, that's enough. And do you deal with novice, inters and advanced riders? Yeah, absolutely, races? yeah, yeah. I, I seem to be getting a lot more races nowadays, but um, my history is, uh, well, I first started coaching at the Haslam School or instructing at the, uh, the Honda Ron Haslam School and you do get a lot of new riders there. You sometimes get someone who's never, never been on track ever, or maybe even some have never even sat on a bike and they learn to ride in the car park. So it's, uh, yeah, you get some very new riders there. So yeah, that's, that was kind of my, um, I suppose the core of where it started for me. And then just over the years, it's just, I suppose with, with No Limits Track Days becoming more and more popular. Club race is becoming popular. That um, yeah, the, the race have come into the, come into it as well. So yeah, it's across the board. Whatever. You know. What is the most common thing you get from your students? What they want to most the achieve on? Is it lap times or body positioning? Or? It's not really. I think back in the day, like when we first started, you know, or when I first started, not we, when I first started doing this, uh, in particular at the at the school, it was getting the knee down. They just wanted to get the knee down because they'd seen it on the front of Performance Bikes magazine, I think. So, it, it, yeah, it's just changed now. They just want to understand it. They, they want to know why, why can't they go as quick as someone else? Why can't they get that lean angle? Why don't they feel confident? What does it mean to trail break? How do you get to the, you know, to the stage where you're trail breaking? So it's just a, a, a better understanding. And there's so much information out there anyway, isn't there? You can watch YouTube channels like yeah. yours and you can pick up some tips. And uh, it's, yeah, there's, well, there's more information on anything, isn't there? Whatever yeah. you want to do in life, you can just grab the information online. So. I suppose the customer is a bit more educated and maybe has a lot more information than they would have done back then anyway. So uh, yeah, so the, some of the tips are a bit more advanced. Um, but as a whole, it's just they want to understand it and maybe just want me or somebody like myself to tell them what they could do different. Because there's a, for example, you could go around this circuit snapped at a two minute 10, but you could go around on 20 different lines 
20 different styles, the right gear, the wrong gear, too high a gear, too low a gear. It's so many different ways of getting around here, but you still end up with the same lap time. Not that track days are timed, but um, it's just making sense of it, isn't it? Because sometimes it can be hard work, sometimes it can be scary. Club racers can come to me with a, a lap time that they would say, I lap, you know, in my race, I lap at this time. Well, it was one lap. It was one lap on a brand new tyre in a race. And it's maybe we could get closer to that, but consistently. Okay. Um, can anyone send you their footage and then you can give them feedback on that? Do you do that at the moment? Uh, no, it's not no. something I offer. I, okay. have been, I have been asked over the years, but I just don't have the time. That's fine. Yeah, I'm cool. currently, like this week, uh, again, I'm on track every day. Uh, okay. Up at four, back home at half ten, uh, and then up for the next one. So I just don't have that time. There's other people doing it. I know yeah. there's, there's other riders offering that service, and I kind of stick to this. You know, this, this is my thing, and I yeah. don't... Yeah. There's loads of coaches doing Euros only, but you do British tracks and Euros Yeah, too? that's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been out to... Um, I think I've only done two this year, actually, yeah. I've been out to Portugal twice. I'm pretty sure I've got, I want to say, 10, 10 or 12 before the end of this year at various okay. tracks, Porto Mayo, Cartagena, Andalusia, Jerez, Catalonia. Yeah, there's, there's loads re leading right up to the middle of December. How much does it cost for someone to have a day with you? It's my fee, £600, and it's just a flat fee. Okay, so okay. wherever. I live in the middle of the country, so it's easy for me to get to, to the circuits. Uh, and it's, it's easy for the customer to understand, so yeah, it's a £600 flat rate uh, and that's me and the customer for the full day, one-to-one. One-to-one, -one. One -one, uh, completely. Uh, yeah, and it, it has to be at a no-limits track day. Okay, which it is has plenty. to be no-limits. Yeah, it has to be no-limits and there's plenty to choose from. Okay, brilliant. Uh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very okay. much, Steve. You're welcome. That. Cheers. Cheers, bye. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and I hope you uh, got something out of it. I really appreciate this. If you want to see more stuff like this, do like this video and also do subscribe to the channel. Then you will get notified whenever I uh, launch a new video. Thank you for watching. Look after yourself and stay safe.